Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about growing older. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am a software engineer and as I grow older I find myself being less effective and willing to work and debug and modify code that I haven't written. Is this ha happening with other engineers as well? Yes. Welcome to what I like to call complacency, my friend. That is uh, where you have arrived. Uh, these, there's, this is a mixed blessing. Uh, one thing that is good about it is that this is very likely an indicator that you now have enough experience that you don't feel like you have to care as much anymore. Uh, the downside is that if you let this go too far, you're going to lose your market value and you're going to find that you become less employable simply because you got too lazy. You got used to uh, knowing without having to look things up most of the time at the very least how to do things. You, you, you're comfortable now and that's very dangerous for, uh, for your long-term career. It's very similar to uh, if, a, if you're a soldier and you get too fat or a policeman officer, like a policeman or a police officer, it's the same pro. It's the same problem. If you get too fat or like too lazy, uh, you forget that your job requires you to have a certain fitness level, or your uh, if you want to do that sort of work. And you, as a software developer, you have the same thing. This is the thing that you're signing up for. The like the paycheck and like all of these perks that everybody is very excited about in software development. Well, these things are great, but there is a little bit of a fine print section when you sign sign your soul over to the to to the IT gods and that is that well we're only going to we're only only going to give you these things as long as you know how to do the things that we want you to do. Because uh, it's uh, this is trust me when I say this, guys. This job, being a software developer, it's not the same thing as a regular nine-to-five job where you can basically just plug out your brain for twenty years and it wouldn't matter. That's not how, how not that's not how it works. The way it works in uh, our industry is that things are moving uh, pretty much all the time, you don't have to be crazy about it and learn new things all the time, but you do have to keep pay attention to what's going on in the industry and what's going on in your place of work and pick up on the things that are going to be relevant for your, your, your career progression. Because as you grow older, as this person is describing, I promise you that you will not, if let's say that you're very enthusiastic, even if you're the most enthusiastic junior that ever lived, there will come a point when things are getting a little bit dull. I promise you that that's going to happen. When that happens, because it's, it's, it's inevitable, you're going to get to a point where you start to see that, well, you don't really have to learn as much anymore. You feel that, well, things are getting to be a little bit of a bother and you don't want to push it as much anymore because there are other things that are more interesting and so forth. This is natural. There's no, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to more out of life or wanting to. I mean, everybody gets a little bit complacent, guys. Just as everybody, every once in a while, overeats or binges on ice cream or something like that. It's this. It's the same thing. The thing that you have to understand is that you need to keep. You you need to pay attention to the fact that this is happening. You need to accept that as part of your career uh, progression that you will get to that point at some at some point and you have to have a thought on a thought about how are you going to deal with this because i i've said this a few times before if you take the factory workers career strategy where you basically just don't care and you just kind of do the thing that you're doing for 10 20 years or whatever and you never really pay attention to what's going on then don't be surprised when nobody wants to hire you because you've you've lost the thing that made you valuable and this complacency is the most dangerous thing that can happen to your career nobody's asking you to be like a rock star super programmer for all of your life but what is required and 
asked uh, what is required of you is that you understand that this is a moving industry and you are expected if you want any type of relevancy in the marketplace to keep up with what's going on that is a hard truth and it is not up for debate it's not something where you you mean you sure you can just shrug off and say no I don't care that's fine nobody's gonna force you to but as I said that that, that comes with the trade-off you don't have to be on the bleeding edge of everything but you need to keep these things the keep them relevant and so if you are already get finding yourself to be more, less effective and less willing to work and so forth you're already in that state now and I highly suggest that you start thinking about what is getting you to this point? What is driving this behavior within you? And since you've already gotten to that, I mean, you're already a little bit over the uh, ahead of the curve now because you have the personal insight to act the very least see that this was happening. Now the question is, what are you going to do about it? My personal favorite here, my personal suggestion, is that you need one of two things. Either you need to find the find a project or find something that engages you about the work that you do because the, one of the things that usually happens when you're less willing to work or you feel like yeah I don't really want to touch other people's code and so forth is as I said you you're comfortable at this point now you're not motivated by the work that you do anymore and that is a little bit from my perspective the same thing as you losing touch with the reason you well I hope at the very least you wanted to become a software developer in the first place I mean if you just became a software developer for the salary and you don't give two shits about software development that this is not gonna work for you uh, because this very much uh, the prerequisite for this to work in the, f the first place is that you actually have a passion for what you do and so one thing that can really help you here is to mix it up a little bit to try a new environment to try a new a new role maybe you're you would be better off as becoming a manager or maybe you want to work with something new and exciting something you haven't done before you need to get the spark back into yourself to f to to motivate you to actually push yourself even uh, push yourself more than you are. The second thing that can work really really well but it is extraordinarily hard and you should feel you, you should count yourself fairly lucky if you can do this is to find a buddy a person with passion and drive someone who can motivate you. Now this is ideally a, the sort of person that your manager should be or someone in ty on some type of leader position but it's very rare that this is the case honestly to, go to god I still haven't met a single manager well actually no I'm gonna correct myself I have met one exactly one manager who could do this on average the find I find the the thing that I'll give you an example of how I fight this uh, I make sure that I work with people who I have a good back and forth with where I, I genuinely enjoy going to work because I know I'm gonna work with that guy or that girl I, I respect them, I think of them as almost as more than co-workers, they're friends and we share ideas and we talk a lot and like together the work becomes engaging even if it's not the most fun thing in the world every single day of the week, right? We make it something nice because the connection we have to each other is a good one. We have a good bond with each other and we feed off, e off each other's energy sometimes I need a boost and sometimes uh, they need a boost and like we, we trade it and together we actually make the world make the work really enjoyable even if it would have been super boring to do it completely by yourself and these things these come these insights they usually come with a bit of personal reflection so you really need to figure out what is it that you need emotionally in order to feel stimulated because that is the thing that is important here to feel stimulated so what I want you to take away from this is that it's very natural for you to at some point in your career start feeling like you're less efficient or you're less willing to work or you don't really want to touch new code because you kind of know the stuff that you're doing or you don't want to learn new tools it's gonna to happen to every single one of you I promise you that that's gonna happen and when it does you should reflect a little bit on why it's happening get to know yourself a little bit and start asking the hard question what is it that I what could I do to mitigate this a little bit nobody's asking you to learn every single tool under the sun nobody's asking you to be like a super developer or like be on the bleeding edge what is a good investment for you is to understand that being a little bit complacent is totally fine because as long as your skills are relevant 
that's all good. But if you let this thing lie for long enough, it's going to become a problem for you. Just as eating too much ice cream and never getting out and exercising is going to become a problem. So you need to keep an eye on it. And my suggestion to you is either f figure out what was like what is that what type of products what type of stuff work do you, could you do that gets you motivated and stimulated or is it possible for you to find a co-worker or a, a, a friend or someone who you can work with where you feel engaged by working with this person or this group of people these two are the best in my experience at the very least things that you could do to increase your stimulation and motivation regardless of what type of job you have. Have a great day.